it, it, that could have been me. I could have been dead on that ground and not standing here talking to y'all right now. Patrick Carroll says he can't discuss all the details about what happened in the fight between he and his ex-girlfriend back on May 18th. But tonight, the 27-year-old is speaking out about the way he was taken into custody by Sarasota police. As they're putting the other handcuff, I'm still asking them, sir, why am I being detained? Carroll says moments later he was thrown to the ground and similar to the George Floyd case, an officer used his knee, pinning him to the ground. My head, neck, and my back. And what did that feel like? It felt very painful. It, it, it felt like I was going to die. I was scared. Carroll, who suffers from asthma and scoliosis of the back, told officers he was having trouble breathing. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I'm like, I'm not resisting. I'm on the ground. Stop. I had tears in my eyes. I haven't, I haven't slept. Becky Shelley lives in Newtown and was among the first to start sharing the video on social media. If you don't feel any kind of pain, you heartless. You are absolutely heartless. The social media post has now caught the attention of police chief Bernadette DePino, who says she was unaware of the incident because no complaints were ever filed. We found it very troubling, as so many people in our community have. And based on that community concern and the concern the chief has in the command staff, we immediately started a formal investigation into this. Chief DePino ordered the officer using his knee placed on paid leave and says the other two officers are also under investigation working temporary desk duty. A week earlier, the chief had already ordered a review of the Sarasota Police Department's use of force policy in reaction to the George Floyd case. The agency says at no time were officers ever trained to use the technique seen in the video. We do not train, condone, or purport to condone any use of a knee or a leg on anyone's neck or throat or head. Um, it is not in keeping with our training. It's not in our policy. And that was why the chief was so passionate about getting out in front of this, being as transparent as possible. Sarasota police are now releasing video captured by the sheriff's office helicopter showing what happened from the air. Deputy Chief Robinson says Chief DePino has been working for the past several hours to reach out to the Carroll family to explain how seriously they're taking the investigation. Many who've seen the video are hopeful the officers involved are held accountable. Oh, are you going to keep sweeping up on the rug? Or are you just going to stand up now, today, and make a change?